Hello everyone. We're out exploring today. We're doing something a little bit different. Not really vlogging, kind of vlogging, I kind guess. Of. We're gonna take you to dinner with us and show you some stuff around here. The statue will be important later. <laughs> so we are in Kansas City and this section is Westport. Westport. Mm -hmm. The main thing about Westport is it's very old. It's one of the oldest portions of Kansas City. And uh, a lot of Civil War stuff happened here. Um, a lot of very bloody Civil War stuff. It, I think it's known as one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War in Missouri. Um, so there's a lot of good ghosty stuff around here. So other than that, it's kind of like a nightlife scene. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. We'll walk around and show you the streets, but... But we're hungry. But we're hungry, <laughs> so we're gonna go eat first. So come join us. Yeah. So here we are at Kamatsu Ramen in Westport, getting our steam buns and our edamame on before our ramen. <laughs> we're hungry, so we're gonna eat. Food's here, yay! Yay! Awesome, it looks so good. Yes, it looks so good. Oh, I can't wait. Ah. Got Rick and Morty out here. Weed. <laughs> and we are going to a spiritual shop because well, no why not? Aquarius. I love all their posts online. Yes. Very good. Lots of stuff. Awesome. So the guy in the middle, apparently, is the father of Kansas City. The guy on the left is one of the founding fathers of the Pony Express. The guy on the right is like a fur trapper and a trader, but he, it also says he's an Indian fighter, so I don't know if that means he fought with the natives. Well, the guy in the middle, I guess, marked boundaries where they were moved out, so I would take it, yes. That he was, uh, <laughs> yeah. Not, not a good person. Not so savory people here in this statue. Except for the Pony Express guy, he probably did nothing wrong. Yeah. That we know of. That Who we knows? know of. They're white, they probably did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> That's the history of Westport. I, I do know that there is some hidden history here of, of a Native American slaughter. It's not really talked about, but it's kind of like hinted at that something, when the wagon trains were coming through, that that was something that happened. Obviously, clearly, you know, something with them moving the natives out of Kansas City. Didn't you say this was also a Civil War yes. hot spot? Yes, Westport is, uh, the Battle of Westport was one of the bloodiest Civil War battles on the Missouri side um, because Missouri was Union, Kansas was veteran, they were pro-slavery, so the were called the Jayhawkers would jump over the border and attack people in Missouri. Westport is right kind of probably 10 minutes from the Kansas border. So a lot of stuff happened here. I don't know exactly where the, like, the, the actual site of the battle was, but I could imagine it's probably all over the place here. And as you can see, Westport's more of a nightlife place now. There are some haunted places here. I don't know exactly where. I know the Hotel Savoy and the Hotel Valentine are down that direction. Those are touted to be the most haunted hotels in Kansas City. Uh, the Savoy has a couple of resident ghosts. There's a lady that got, was killed in her bathtub in room 502. There's a couple of other ghosts that live there. The Hotel Valentine, I'm not entirely sure, but that you used to be able to stay there, and I don't think they let you stay there anymore just because of the violence of the hauntings. So just to give you an idea of Kansas City's history, or Missouri's history in general, is that the Oregon Trail and the California Trail came through here, so right here you see, this is where Westport is at. All the trails met up in Independence before they moved on to the West Coast. So it goes through Kansas territory at the time and then on to 
you know, Utah, California, Oregon, all those good things. That's where I'm from. I'm from Sacramento. And Sutter's Fort. <laughs> so, yeah, just to kind of give you a history of what happened here. A lot of Native American stuff, just given the history. So, so this is Westport Road. Um, the Hotel Valentine and the Hotel Subway will be coming up on the left. They're kind of towards the downtown area. And we're going to drive into downtown as well so we can show you the Hotel President where some... Somebody got brutally murdered in the 30s. I actually don't know. I've never heard of that hotel being haunted, surprisingly, with how brutally murdered that guy was. That might be an adventure we can stay at the presidency. Hotel Valentine is right here on the left. It's that tall brick building. This is now leasing, so. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if they turned it into apartments. That's kind of scary. Yeah, if they wouldn't run out rooms because of how haunted it was, but. Yeah. Right there. This hotel is Valentine. Valentine. Yeah. Yep, apartments. Hotel apartments, Valentine. Interesting. Apartments now. Okay. So if you've never seen Kansas City before, here's your opportunity. This church is one of the oldest churches, I think, in the country. I can't remember what it's called. Now we are getting into downtown. Oh, we can drive by Union Station too, because that's haunted as well. Yes. I don't know. Every time I've been to Union Station, I've never felt anything but I guess it's probably when people are gone I'm assuming it's like the things that I read like when I looked up about it mm -hmm. was more or less they'll see like soldiers with their bags because I guess they used to take the train yes. to get you know yeah. from wherever they were stationed and we're in the area by like where the old the pony express mm -hmm. and like the old mail system they sometimes see people like pushing mail like old mail so it's things. just like a business yeah it's not repetitive people gotcha. yeah not a very active, you know what I mean? You probably wouldn't get something with an EVP like a, because yeah. they're more like set in their track and not. Right. Okay. There's the city. Uh, coming up on the right is going to be Union Station. Yep, there's the sign for it too. Clearly the haunted part is the brick old yeah, part. Yes. <laughs> um, I guess they said too that some people see like a woman in Victorian-esque yeah. clothes like going up and down the stairs yes. to like the lower levels where the trains were. But nothing, like we said, nothing really active. Yeah. Now this here is the Crossroads District. Um, Part of it bleeds into the West Bottoms, which is also haunted. The West Bottoms also has the um, haunted houses from, like the big haunted houses that are the most popular or the, like the scariest in the country. The Edge of Hell, The Beast, all that stuff is down there in the West Bottoms. The, the West Bottoms is incredibly old. Uh, one of the oldest parts of Kansas City. There's Town Topic Hamburger, it's always popping as you can see. Very good burgers there. All right, the coming up on the right is the Kansas City Symphony Hall. That's where they have orchestral concerts and the ballet and stuff. That's all done there. Um, that building's relatively new. I think they were building it when I first moved here, so that would have been about 10 years ago. These little spires here, that's one of like Kansas City's known architecture. I don't actually know what it is. <laughs> um, I, it, they're supposed to represent a bridge, but I don't know. It's obviously not a bridge. <laughs> it's a building <laughs> or a parking garage or something. Okay, here we are getting downtown. So we're gonna turn because we literally were just talking and we were like, where's the Hotel Savoy? Oh, look at that. Oh. What is that? Is I that don't know. Hello? Buffalo? But we were literally just saying that we didn't know where the Hotel Savoy was and Teresa was like, well, maybe it was by the Hotel Valentine because sometimes they're mistaken as one another. But right as we said that, here's the Hotel Savoy. Oh, there it is. So, it hurt us. And it looks it like it's us. still a hotel, so you yeah. can probably stay there, which we We should look into like because look Savoy the Grill, look at the restaurant. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's nice. Building right there with the white top. 
uh, I believe that's the hotel president where that guy got killed. So let me, I'm gonna drive. Oh, here's the library. Look at it. Oh yes. I can't For see any the writers that are on my yep. page. I can't see the libraries are really cool looking. Okay. We're heading to the Power and Light district. Uh, that one building, I guess. Remember, you, we were looking up. Uh huh. And the Power and Light is supposedly haunted. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yes, the Power and Light district is on the left, right where it says Main Street up there. So power and light is in there. Um, it's kind of like down in these buildings here. This is the Midland Theater that's haunted. Haunted one, yep. Yeah. It's like they see uh, old people in like old Victorian clothes like up in the boxes. Mm -hmm. You know, because it used to be an opera house. stay in the room too. Right. If we can request 1046 or whatever it was, then we can even do like an EVP session because this guy was, I, I don't know if you know anything. We're going to do a little history lesson here. He was a 17 year old kid under the false name of Roland T. Owen checked into the hotel president meeting up with a man named Don. Now we don't know if Don was his name or we don't know he could be the Don of the mafia. That's nobody, for, yeah. That's what, what I was I assuming. Assume, but nobody <laughs> knows for sure who this Don character was. Um, but he ended up meeting him, and the maid that was cleaning the guy's room said that he was really weird. He would be in full clothing, sleeping in bed with all the lights off, or like sitting in bed with all the lights off, fully awake. And she would ask him if he needed towels or anything, and he'd be like, "No, I'm just waiting." Never have the lights on. It was really creepy. And then eventually that night. They found that his phone was off the hook, so they sent the bellboy up to tell him to put it back on the hook. You know, back in those days, the whatever, it cost them money or something. Nobody answered the door. They actually opened his door, a, you know, a couple hours later, broke, not broke in, but entered, turned on the lights. The entire room was covered in blood. The guy was on the floor, his head, skull was bashed in. He was stabbed like 48 times and he wouldn't say who did it, and then he died. So it's just a mystery. There it is. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. Right there. There it is. Yep. I knew it was around there somewhere. Yeah, that's the hotel president. We're murder, yay. <laughs> All right. So that's Kansas City. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna Enjoy our evening, as I hope you guys will, too. Well, we showed you some haunted. We didn't actually get out, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, we probably will you know, explore point, a lot we'll, more. Yeah, we'll stay at all of those places at some yeah. point. What are some haunted places near you? Since we kind of went through and showed you some of our really local, you know, close to home spots. Yes. So, And if you have any suggestions for us, we love to travel. So if there's any local places that you know of in your town or your state, that would be interesting to check out. We would more than love to check it out and see what it's worth and all that. So, so yeah. Definitely let us know. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping by and joining us for this vlog slash <laughs> drive around Kansas City. Yes. <laughs> and we will see you next week. All right, see you next week. Bye. Bye.